Hello everyone, it's Christine from Close the Gap Tutoring Services here today to talk about how processing speed can affect executive functioning skills. So processing speed is not an executive functioning skill, but as stated, it can affect it if it's slow. If you have slow processing, it now affects the executive functioning skills such as your working memory holding on and utilizing information. If you're a slow processor, you're now slowly processing that information, but unfortunately you cannot hold on to it. So that's affecting that working memory. Slow processing can also affect your flexible thinking, being able to shift your mindset, shift gears for lack of better words, shift your way of thinking if you are slowly processing an event or circumstance or situation. It can also affect your self-control. If you um, are now active impulsively because you have not um, been able to take that time to process something or you are slowly processing it where you cannot um, respond immediately. And so although they are different, it does affect the other. So slow processing is not an executive functioning skill, but it can have a negative effect on it. However, slow processors are great thinkers because you want to take time to think through things. So there are the negatives and the you know positives for slow processing, but what we need to do is figure out how we can support those slow thinkers, those slow processors. What accommodations can we put in place to support them? How we can um, help them to visualize what they are hearing, what we are saying. How we can help them, you know, change that mindset in that quick moment when needed. Because, for example, um, if you need to make a decision in that moment, solve a problem in that moment, you would have to practice the skill of thinking through a situation within a few seconds to, to react quickly and appropriately. And so as stated, um, processing speed is not an executive, executive functioning skill, but it does correlate with those essential skills needed to function in daily living. And so if you want to know more about each executive functioning skill, please check out my next video and also go to my website at closethegap357.org.